Once upon a time, there lived two young women, Aaliyah and Huda, who were neighbors too. Their husbands worked in the same office, had the same pay. They had similar houses, yet there was a great difference between them. Omar and Aaliyah fought often, while Abdul and Huda lived a happy, peaceful life. Aaliyah often wondered why Huda was living a content life under the same circumstances, while she was unhappy. One day, after a fight with Omar, she went to see her. My husband is always late from work, and he doesn't give me enough money to spend, complained Aaliyah. But maybe he comes late to avoid a fight, and maybe you spend more on unnecessary things, replied Huda. How can you be so happy? Aaliyah asked. I am a member of a secret society. I have been properly trained, confided Huda. Seriously? Mm-hmm. I can teach you some basic rules to get more out of your marriage, but you need to promise me whatever I teach you, you need to do it every day for the rest of your life, said Huda. For day one, you need to thank your husband for two things. But he never does anything good, exclaimed Leah. Oh no, he does. Think carefully. Omar, thank you for dropping the kids to school. Uh, but I drop them off every day, said a surprised Omar. Yes, but it means a lot. If I had to do it, it would become very difficult. He was surprised. But you know what? He came home on time after a long, long time. Keep on thanking him daily, Aaliyah. Our second lesson is in case of a fight. Apologize, forgive and forget. Huda told her. Aaliyah opens the door and Omar brings in all sorts of shopping bags. So much grocery. Omar replied. Well, there was a sale, buy one, get one free, so I bought three bags of rice and got three more for free, hey. What? But that's so much rice. We already have two at home. Omar replied, how was I supposed to know? But you could have asked me. Never mind. This month you'll get plenty of rice pudding and biryani. She said with a smile. And he brought home my favorite treat. Aaliyah was loving the change. What's our next lesson? She asked eagerly. Don't meet people whom your husband doesn't like. Aaliyah thought for a while. Hmm. He doesn't like Salma. Why? asked Huda. She doesn't wear a hijab or offer prayers. Also, when I go shopping with her, I spend money unnecessarily, said Aaliyah after thinking for some time. Why an outing after a long time? You listen to me after a long time. You deserve better than Salma. And they both laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Count your blessings and say Alhamdulillah for at least five blessings each day, said Huda. Also, do remember to thank the person through whom Allah bestowed these blessings upon you. One, husband. Two, children. Three, home. Four, food. Five, clothes. Thank you, Omar. I bought a pretty dress with the money you gave me today. I am really happy, Huda. We don't fight anymore. Is there any way I could join your secret society? You already are, dear. As a believer, you just need to obey the rules of Allah and follow the way of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and you would be just fine. 
You need to be more grateful than your husband to succeed in hereafter life. Alhamdulillah for all your blessings, O oh Allah. Alhamdulillah for all your blessings, O oh Allah, including my wonderful wife. <laughs> Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, Whoever is not grateful to the people, he is not grateful to Allah.